What up, y'all? It is a miracle. I was so tired last night. I'm sure you could tell if you saw the video. And I was, again, so tired today. I have just been like a cooked little turkey. <laughs> Oy vey, but somehow I got our post done today and the show flyer from last night's episode. And then I was about to get ready for work. Actually, I did start to get ready for work. See, I could, got my hair kind of done and my makeup on, but I've been wandering around in the woods for the last few hours because my boss texted me and to see if I wanted to be cut. And I was like, yes, thank God. It was just like such a crazy busy weekend. And it's not that I didn't want to go into work. I was planning on it, but I was like so physically like exhausted so I was so excited I just wandered through the woods for a while to just sort of take a tree bath and like wind down and I just did some like gentle gardening in the backyard and like cleaned up some of the stuff that sort of died off now and it's great I just laid low and did exactly what our message told us to do today which was we pulled um, so this is our anchor message for the week and last night was our energy forecast and this just follows the storyline um, straight from last night into the rest of the week um, which is just go back and watch last night I'm so exhausted I can't even go into it we're gonna make this a short one tonight but for today we pulled the animal from the archetypes uh, deck and basically we pulled the animal with five of swords and so together, actually it was Five of Swords reversed, <clears throat> to be specific. Um, and so these two together, oh, we'll arrange them in such a way. Um, I believe that, <laughs> just like I was, um, you may find that you are a bit depleted or just a bit on edge or sensitive. There's been a lot of um, astrological aspects going on right now that are really like um, striking some chords with people. A lot of people are awakening for the first time. A lot of people are going through another cycle of it. A lot of people are kind of like, you know, at, at different levels, right? But it's like that saying goes, every person that you meet is fighting a battle that you have no idea um, about, nothing about or whatever. So just resist the urge to pop off or snap or you know do what you got to do just stay silent um you know just silent smile pleasant uh pleasant quietness just pick the fairest nicest answers you know for the next couple of days if you are tempted to just be short with people um because we might be feeling a little bit like a wild animal backed up into a corner and just getting defensive and getting into survival mode. And what we wanna do is observe this happening within ourselves, but like go, like be, take a step back, pause and try to look at it in a way that's not judgmental, that is just like a detached observer and try to, to follow your animal instincts and your impulses and see what, what are they telling you? What are they telling you about the needs that you're not um, that you're not getting met, and what? How are you blocking yourself from getting these met? You know, it's really up to us to make sure that we're taken care of, that our needs are getting met. We can't look outside of ourselves. Sure, you know, we're not an island, but that responsibility is on us. You know, for starters. So, what are you needing right now that you're not getting? Um, is it a need or a want, you know, but la like today I just needed simplicity. I needed to literally connect with the elemental um, aspects of nature. I needed to get out there and just be in the trees and get some fresh air and have my feet on the ground and just be immersed in like natural surroundings. And I needed that quiet, but I needed that movement and I needed to just feel feel grounded in my body and, you know, burn some energy in a way that was going to calm me down and relax me, right? So maybe, you know, you need some basic things right now, just self-care and um, give yourself the freedom. You know, when my boss texted me to see if I wanted off, I was, I was hesitant, you know, I am ambitious about 
um, making money and all of that, but I don't want to get so focused on that that I run myself ragged and I'm unhappy, right? So I did, I did a pause and instead of being reactive and being like, no, I need to come into work, I was like, oh, you know, the animal archetype card came up and I need, you know, to rest. I need a sense of freedom. I need to like kind of run wild and have a day where I just spend it meandering and it's not planned, you know? So what is your animal, um, inner animal asking of you right now? What is it telling you? Um, and are there things in your situation that you're holding on to that are preventing you from, you know, being fulfilled, being um, nurtured and taken care of that you can let go of, right? And move on from. The Five of Swords reversed talks about a situation where it, we're being obstinate, we're being prideful, we're being stubborn. And if we don't change our attitude, we could lose something. And it's about, <clears throat> actually, I actually brought the book out here because I wanted to read both of these and I might as well just read it now because these really weren't overly like complex, deep or convoluted messages. It was pretty simple. It's just like, Hey, check in with yourself. What are your basic needs here? You know, what are you not getting met? And like, how can you adjust that situation and just allow yourself the kindness and the compassion? Um, to get, if you if you need rest, get rest. If you need some activity, get some activity. Um, I need water. I need rest. I need activity. I need self care. I need it pronto. So let's see. So I I allowed myself the night off. All right. Five of Swords reversed. If there is no change in attitude, loss can be incurred. Let go of pride and narrow view. Ego can inhibit you. Um, ego is a card that came up yesterday. It was definitely warning us to observe our ego this week and see how it's holding us back. Intrigue and deception involved in a personal situation. And in this case, I feel like it could mean that you are the dogs. I'm surrounded by dogs in this neighborhood and every time I move or breathe or walk outside, a dog barks at me. The dog that lives on the other side of the wall from me, if I adjust or anything during the day when things have been quiet, it just starts going off and barking and I'm like, hmm, what is this telling me? Um, okay, so the intrigue and deception involved in a personal situation. I feel like it's just like asking us to be like super honest with ourselves and check in. You know, it's really easy to try to justify things to ourselves or bend the story a little bit. Um, but yeah, get really, really, really honest with yourself. Also, I want to um, alert us to the fact that, you know, as we're moving into this this new us, this new way of being, this new cycle, be careful about the stories that you keep telling yourself, you know, um, even, you know, when we are having these challenging moments like today, it's like, you may need to reach out for support, um, but do that in a conscious way where you're talking to somebody who's not just going to like jump into the negativity with you. They're going to let you like get it out, but then they're going to help you bounce back, right? Because you don't want to, you want to get it out and you want to express it. You want to cleanse the vessel, but you don't want to keep ruminating on it or keep talking about it to everyone, right? Because then what happens is you start to get too much momentum there and you're too focused on it and you're, you're almost like to attach to it at that point, you're identifying with the story. So you want to like, let be able to like, you know, express, get some help and some insight from someone if you need it, some support, and then be able to start letting, letting the stories go, letting the, the moment go, letting that energy go so it can flow through. And you're not just like, you know, it's not just continuing to play out over and over and over again. Um, a situation that causes all kinds of emotional problems, right? So it's like the more you focus on something, the more you ad are attached to something, the more that you keep replaying it over and over, the more it snowballs, you know, the more gripped uh, you, you try to keep your grip on control and you want to manipulate the situation. It's like this whole hairball of energy starts happening and everything gets tangled and knotted up. So just relax, release, put your mind on something else. Um, try to get into emotional state of wellness and well-being and happiness because the more whatever we're feeling that's what we're magnetizing towards ourselves, right our, our thoughts are the electrical impulses that we're sending out but the heart the feelings that's the magnet so be careful how you're feeling because that's what your magnets gonna be pulling towards you 
Um, okay, involved in an unfair decision, hard to correct this time. Right, so another thing is when things play out in this life and they're not, they don't play out the way that we hoped, we do have to grieve that disappointment, but like don't keep going on and on about your disappointment over it forever. You know, don't keep like fighting it in your mind and thinking like, oh, I can't believe it ended up this way. Oh, it wasn't fair. Oh, it was so tragic. I can't believe this is how it played out. Like that is just a way to like trap yourself in the past and never move forward and freeze up and block up your life, right? You can't make progress when you're obsessing about something. You just can't, even in a good way. Like the universe needs a little bit more um, f looseness with the energy. It needs more flow. So when you get really attached to something, it starts to push the thing away that you're trying to call in. So I hope you guys have a good rest of the night. I'm going to go have a bath and I'm getting eaten up by mosquitoes now. And I'm going to relax for the rest of the night and self-care and veg out and meditate and all of that. Ooh, itchy. And then I might watch, I started Outlander again. I'm really excited about it because there's a new season on Netflix that I haven't seen. So I was like, well, I'll just rewatch the series. <laughs> And I still haven't seen that movie, Don't Look Up. So I'm kind of curious about that. I might watch it or I might find something else. I don't know. All right, y'all be good, but not too good. Ciao.